Finding the perfect hair color is tricky enough already, and summer throws some harsh conditions our way. Luckily, it only takes a few steps to keep your color looking beautiful all summer. Beauty editor Maria Del Russo is here to share her hair color protecting tips. Hi, Maria. Hi. So in the summer, you know, we're dealing with a lot of sun. How can we best take care of our hair? Well, like you said, colored and highlighted hair, these women know how unforgiving the sun can be. Mm -hmm. So but a lot of people don't realize that you really just have to think about your hair like you do your skin. You could take the same type of steps as you would with your skin and your hair color will stay flawless all summer. Okay. This sounds very promising, but let's start at the beginning. You're just about to head out for a day at the beach. What can you do to prepare in advance? Well, what do you do with your skin? You put on your SPF before you even walk out the door. There are actually SPF products for your hair. This is Kiehl's Color Protect Hair Treatment. It's formulated for colored hair, and it's a leave-in product. So what you do with a product like this is you shampoo your hair, um, Sp um, spritz this into your hair, it's got an SPF of 10, and then style it as normal. And then the great thing about this is you can reapply it as necessary. It doesn't weigh down your hair, it doesn't do anything like that. So you could throw it in your beach bag and reapply it like you would your SPF. Okay, it's great, because we all pretty much know how to wear sunscreen. So basically this is just extending that idea to your hair. Exactly, and also extending an idea to your hair is covering up. It's a great way to keep your skin protected from the sun. And you could also do that with a hair, just with a hat, excuse me, just throw on a cute little hat, it'll keep your face and your skin clear from the sun and you'll be in good shape. Love a multi-purpose product, so this is great. Now we're done at the beach, we're going home, we may have incurred a little damage if we did not obey tip one. How can we sort of remedy the situation? Well, a big issue that a lot of women with light hair like yourself tend to run into is that green tint that comes into your hair, especially with chlorine, mineral buildup from the ocean. All this stuff is what kind of causes that green tint. So sh regular shampoo alone does not fix that. What you really need to do in the summer is clarify your hair with a clarifying shampoo to remove those mineral deposits and that chlorine and all that stuff. This is bamboo style deep cleanse cl um, clarifying shampoo and a clarifying shampoo again just really gets in there and deep cleans and you want to look for something that is actually color safe. This is color safe. It's very important to make sure that you're reaching for those color safe products because anything else might be a little too harsh and will strip it and just cause those problems to begin with. Yeah you certainly don't want to do more damage when trying to correct damage. Exactly. Anyways and now is there anything else you can kind of do all summer long that just helps a little more? Sure, of course. So you get your hair dyed regularly, but a lot of things, a lot, something that a lot of women don't tend to think about is glosses for your hair. Now, it's a great way to kind of fix any problems that happen, and as much as we try to make these problems, avoid these problems, yeah. they do tend to happen. Brunettes and redheads especially get that brassy look to their hair, and people with highlights, I have blonde highlights, and when I'm out in the sun, they just get super blonde. I don't really want them that blonde. <laughs> so the easiest thing to do is go to your colorist and ask for a gloss. They're a lot cheaper than colors, and it'll just really tone down those colors and correct anything. They also are deep conditioning, they'll help with damage. They really do basically whatever you kind of need them to, and your colors will match the right gloss for you. And it's good to kind of do this at least once in between your dye jobs, just to make sure everything's kept looking good. Yeah, it's nice to know there's kind of a middle ground, so you don't have to be dyeing your hair all the time. There's something you can do to extend the color. Exactly, and they're a lot more expensive than a color, so you're saving money there too. Oh, well, that's great. Thank you so much, Maria. <laughs> of course.